I want to talk today about uh, our being rooted in Christ. How do we do so according to our scripture for the day? Number one, we should be per- persistent in our faith. We should be persistent in our faith. And in, in the Colossians chapter 2 verse 6, uh, the first part of verse 6, uh, Paul tells the church at Colossae that uh, Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus as the Lord, one as if you, one as if you, uh, for all of us to be saved, ili sisi wote tuokolewe, tulimpokea Yesu Christo. Lakini nakumbuka wakati niliokoka, mambo ilikuwa tamtam, one as if you, ilikuwa shwari, ilikuwa, nilikuwa na feel, nataka, nipatia, nataka Yesu wakuje leo tuende na ye. Si uli feel hivo, moto moto. Bado hiyo moto hiko. Sasa Paulo anawambia wa, wa shiriki katika kanisa la Kolosai mubaki jinsi ambavyo wakati ule mlimpokea muendelee kuwa na nguvu hivyo bwana asifiwe as strong as you started bwana asifiwe be persistent in your faith as strong as you started verse 6b to verse 7 so walk in him having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him and established in your faith just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude let christ always be your firm foundation yani uache kristo akuwe msingi wako imara bwana asifiwe kristo akuwe msingi uh, kuna mjengo ambao haijakamilika hapo kando na kwetu ni gorofa inaenda juu wakati ambapo walikuwa wanaanza kujenga walichimba mtaro mtaro mkubwa sana hiyo ni foundation ili watakapoanza kujenga nyumba itakuwa imara bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo unaambiwa wewe mkristo wacha kristo yesu kristo akuwe nini msingi maana kristo akiwa msingi utasimama tisti utasimama imara katika imani bwana asifiwe hata mawimbi unaona miti hapa uh, hapa katika Afrika hatuna ile kitu inaitwa arike arike ni, ni, ni upepo mwingine mzito sana na unaongoa miti lakini kama msingi mizizi ya miti imeingia chini vizuri ni gumu sana hata upepo uwe mzito aje kuangusha huo mti ukweli ama uongo basi wewe unaambiwa wacha mizizi yako ingie kabisa ndani ya Kristo kwa sababu yeye alisema kwa mwamba huu kanisa litajengwa bwana asifiwe kwa yeye ukijijenga kwake auwezi kutingizwa na mawili ya maisha bwana asifiwe shida na tabu ambazo tunapitia aliawezi kukuondoa kando na kristo bwana asifiwe lakini kama msingi wako ni pastor Brian na kuambia utaanguka saa sita mchana kama msingi wako ni kanisa la Eldoret Chapel na kuambia utaudhika mpaka upotee uanze kulewa Bwana asifiwe. Kama umeweka msingi kwa pesa, kuna wakati pesa itakutoroka my friend. Kuna wakati pesa itakutoroka. Utafanya nini kama umeweka msingi wako wa imani katika pesa? Weka msingi katika nani? Katika nani? Kitambo kulikuwa na wimbo ulikuwa una, unaimbwa Tawili silo za matunda mema ukatwa kupiliwa mbali chochote kile unachopanda dicho utakacho una In John chapter 15 John uh, Jesus tells his, uh, his disciples that remain in me so that you can do what you can bear fruit i'm the vine mimi ndio nitakulisha kama vile mti iko na matawi iko na mizizi iko na stem ambayo inapitisha chakula yesu anasema mimi ndio huyo ndio niweze kukulisha baki kwangu bwana asifiwe nini ufanyika wakati tawi limekatwa kutoka kwa stem what happens to that uh, branch yes We need to remain family in Christ. Bwana asifiwe. That is what we mean by being persistent in faith. That is what we mean by being rooted in Christ. Bwana asifiwe. 
Because we get our spiritual nutrients from Christ. We get what we need in our spiritual lives from who? From Christ, not from Pastor Brian. It is from who? Christ. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them may be compared to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And, in, and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and slammed against that house, and yet it did not do what? It did not fall, for it had been founded on the rock. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sun. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and slammed against the house and it fell. And great was its fall. One has a few. You know, my Kaziake Niku, Soma Neno, Amakuskia Neno, Unaubiriwa, Kwanzia January, Adi, December, Unaubiriwa Neno, Nambiwa. Neno linasema hivi Mungu anataka uishi hivi Mungu anataka utende wale ambao wanasikia na watendi ni kama mjensi aliyejenga nyumba juu ya mchanga afifu wakati upepo na ma, eh, 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 mafuriko yalipokuja yakangusha ile nyumba wewe ni kama huyo ikiwa utilima nani maneno ya Yesu Kristo katika neno lako kwanza nani wewe unasoma neno la Mungu wewe unasoma neno la Mungu but after reading, you have to, to, to act on them. So that you can be the builder who built on the rock. Where do you turn to when there are problems? When you are rooted in Christ, you turn to who? You turn to who? To God. That is a real Christian. Not a person who falls away from church when there are slight problems, slight challenges. You run away. Or you become discouraged. You, you start doing drugs. You start getting a, a, a drunk. And smoking a lot. Where do you turn to? Have you built your foundation in Christ? Apart from Christ, you are finished. Apart from Christ, you are done what? As a Christian. Look at the word Christian. Christian is built on the word Christ. One has a few. And the last three letters are I-N-N. Without the word Christ, you are saying I am nothing the three last letters i am nothing that is why it is important as you started to be rooted in christ so continue in that way one as a few are you rooted in christ have you built your foundation in christ do you still have that same fire that you started with when you got saved are you still passionate about christ are you still zealous for christ one as a few are you still seeking to be rooted in Christ? Be persistent in your faith. Usiende chini na usi uendele kwenda juu. Usirudi nyuma. Number two, how do we become rooted in Christ? How do we remain rooted in Christ? Number two, I say number one is by being persistent in our faith. Number two, make Christ your one and only source of wisdom and any other help you may need. That is according to Colossians 2, verse 8 to 10. Be very careful not to fall in the trap of human wisdom and emerging crazy advices. Uji chunge sana, usi angukie yale ambayo watu wanasema, maneno ya watu, vile watu wanaamini, usi angukie imani za watu, usi angukie vile watu wanasema maisha inafaa kuwa. Kama sasa tuna, uh, wanasema eh, mwanaume ni wallet, mwanaume ni six pack, eh, eh, man's, eh, bado mnaita manzi. Msichana ni size eight, uh, size what? Sahi wanasema bila pesa, wewe si kitu. Sahi wanasema eh, ukitaka kufaulu kwa siyasa lazima udanganyane. Unasikia wanasema hii Kenya lazima upatiane kitu kidogo, dio ufaulu. Ukue, u, ukue very careful Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe Unakuta watu Watu wana kuambia e, Na we uko na girlfriend Mungina wana kuambia We uko na boyfriend Mumewa ilala kwa moja Apana Na munafanya nini We ume, umepitu wana vitu bwana Unaulizwa 
wewe mzee ama mama wewe uko na mpango wa kando utakufa na mtu mmoja hizi ni vitu vya dunia ukue very careful all truth you need for life come from uh, from who from Christ bwana asifiwe kama unahitaji philosophy ama kama unahitaji ukweli wa maisha unapata wapi kwa Kristo sio kwa chenye watu wanasema najua wengine wetu tunapenda kusoma vitabu tunapenda kusoma vitabu tukiwa katika shida katika ndoa zetu tunaenda katika vitabu vinavyozungumzia ndoa tukiwa na shida katika biashara zetu tuna, tunaenda katika vitabu ambavyo vinazungumzia nini vinazungumzia biashara lakini mimi sikukatazi usome sikukatazi usome um, um, maneno katika vitabu ambavyo vimeandikwa sikukatazi usome kuhusu biashara sikukatazi usome kuhusu ndoa lakini yanaambatana na neno la Kristo bwana asifiwe ukweli wa maisha unatoka kwa nani kwa Kristo if you are not a constant bible reader or student you are prone to being easily deceived because you don't know what is in the bible and what is not you must strive to know your bible because you want your ultimate source of information to come from there and not just fall to every information out there wana asifiwe uwe msomi wa biblia manake hapo ndio utapata ukweli thabiti wa maisha hapo ndio utapata maneno ama mafunzo ya kristo uwe msomi wa biblia usiangukie mafunzo ambayo yanaenezwa pale nje bila wewe kusoma biblia bila kujua kama inaambatana na biblia angalia mawakili look at the lawyers look at the lawyers they really know the constitution of the country or of the jurisdiction that they are operating from mawakili wanaelewa sana katiba si ni ukweli wanaposimama mbele ya hakimu kumtetea mteja wao wanaposimama mbele ya hakimu kusema kile wanachosema wanatoa wapi kwa akili zao kwa akili zao umesikia mmoja akisema e, pastor Brian akihubiri e, alisema kwamba hakimu atasikia haya ama atasema ukiangalia katika katika mechi kati ya e, Manu na Arsenal wanasemanga hivi wanatoa wapi kwenye katiba wewe kama mkristo unapozungumza unapo unapojadili mambo na watu wengine unatoa wapi maoni yako bwana asifiwe unaezambia watu katika biblia mstari fulani linasema hivi hii haistahili hii inastahili hivi ndivyo inafaa kufanywa unatoa kwa biblia ama unakuwa pastor fulani bwana asifiwe unajua wengine wetu ni wavivu sana wakristo wavivu kazi yetu ni kusikia chenye mahubiri wanasema ndiyo tuweze kukuata kila wakati unakuwa tumuhubiri ni siku gani utakuwa tu biblia lazima tuwe wasomi wa nini wa biblia ili tuelewe kile ambacho Mungu anasema katika neno lake manake hapo ndiyo tunapata hekima yetu hapo ndiyo tunapata maoni yetu bwana asifiwe maoni kuhusu ndoa tunapata pale maoni kuhusu uhusiano kati ya boyfriend na girlfriend tunapata wapi kwa biblia maoni uh, kuhusu jinsi ya kufanya biashara vizuri tunapata wapi kwa biblia bwana asifiwe basi tuwe wasomi wa biblia lakini kama usomi utaangukia vitu ambavyo watu wanatumia kuada wengine actually you can trust christ to have all answers because he is god himself bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe. Kristo ako na majibu yote. Ako na majibu yote. And in verse 9 Paul tells the, Coloss- uh, the Colossian church for in him all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. Bwana asifiwe. Deity ni Mungu. Kristo katika Kristo tunamuona Mungu. Anafahamu. In Christ we see God in his fullness. Bwana asifiwe. In bodily form. Kwa hivyo unapoweka msingi wako na mizizi yako ndani ya Kristo uko na majibu yote ya maisha. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati mwingine utakuja kwangu kama pasta wako ama utaenda kwa mtu fulani ambaye unaamini anaweza kuwa na majibu kuhusiana na shida zako ukaenda kumuuliza akakwambia mimi mimi sijui nitakuambia nini. Mimi sina jibu, sijui nitakuelezea aje na wakati huo labda ulikuwa unamtegemea huyu mtu utavunjika moyo lakini unapoweka mawazo yako 
na tegemeo lako kwa Yesu Kristo kwa majibu ya maisha kwa maswali zote ulizo nazo bwana asifiwe wengine tunapoteza pesa mingi kwenda kusafiri kutoka hapa mpaka hata nchi zingine kutafuta mtu ambaye tumesikia anaelewa sana mambo haya ilhali unaweza piga simu for free bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe by the way simu ya mbinguni bado ni free Najua taxi imeongezwa juzi. Najua Safaricom wameongeza calling rate. Lakini ya mbinguni bado ni free. Ya ku consult Yesu bado ni free. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu hata hata ya ku consult Pastor Brian bado ni free lakini sina majibu kwa maswali yako. Christ has all the answers. What questions do you have right now? My sister. What questions do you have right now about life? Do not answer them with what people are saying. Bwana asifiwe. Answer them call on Christ and he will answer you. Bwana asifiwe. Remaining rooted in in Christ. In fact someone said Jesus is the answer. Bwana asifiwe. And indeed Jesus and indeed Jesus is the answer. And I had some people asking to which question? To all questions. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. What questions do you have today? Uko na maswali gani kuhusu maisha? Kuna wengine wetu tumefika tumegonga mwamba katika maisha. Wakati huu tunapoketi, naona kuna watu wananiangalia wamegonga mwamba katika maisha. Umefika mahali ambapo unasema mimi sioni maana ya hii maisha tena. Mimi sielewi haya maisha tena. Maisha haya yamekaaje? Mimi sielewi. Hayo maswali ambayo umeshindwa kujibu. Mama yako ameshindwa kujibu, ndugu yako ameshindwa kujibu, pasta wako wa, wa, wale ambao watu walikuwa unawaangalia wameshindwa kujibu. Yesu Kristo ako na majibu. Bwana asifiwe. Muangalie Yesu. Mtegemee Yesu. Weka mizizi yako ndani ya Kristo. Bwana asifiwe. Jifiche ndani ya Kristo. That is what we mean by the remaining rooted in Christ. It doesn't mean that we do not go through what we uh, the struggles of this life it means that despite the difficulties despite the struggles in this life the sickness e corona imeleta shida imefanya biashara zinaanguka watu wamepoteza kazi watu hawapati fedha jinsi walivyokuwa wanapata tunakosa pesa za kulipa bills zetu haimaanishi kwamba hatupitii shida hizi zote lakini inamaanisha kwa yote Tuko na Yesu ambaye atasimama na sisi mpaka mwisho wa dahari. Bwana asifiwe. That is what we mean by remaining rooted in Christ. Not allowing the philosophy of this world to mislead us, to remove us. The Bible says that we are kings. Bwana asifiwe. In 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, we are kings, we are a royal priesthood. Bwana asifiwe. We are heirs with him. Romans chapter 8 verse 17. Sisi tunaridhi pamoja na Kristo. Bwana asifiwe. Tunaridhi mali yote ambayo Mungu ametunuku ama ameweka kwa mabega ya Yesu Kristo. Bwana asifiwe. Sisi ni matajiri katika ulimwengu wa kiroho. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa maana tuko na a good de- uh, destiny where God is taking us. Bwana asifiwe. If you are a king, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are a king, if you are a royal priest, why do you demoralize yourself? by listening and associating with people who don't know God. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa nini unatoa hekima yako ya maisha kwa watu ambao hawamjui Mungu? Kama wewe ni mfalme, kwa nini unajihusisha na watu ambao hawana akili? Nikisema hawana akili sisemi hawana akili, nasema hawana ufahamu wa mambo ya mbinguni. Kwa nini unasikiza hawa kuliko vile unamsikiza Kristo? Kwa nini wewe unajitupa katika matope? We have to look at Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. We should not be carried away by the things of this world. We should not be carried away by the things that science. Science is good, but let us not believe in science more than we believe what Christ has said. Bwana asifiwe. God is able, and when we look to him, he has all the answers. Bwana asifiwe.